Today we're going to take a look at a very common reporting challenge within ServiceNow, reporting against variables. So to start, what we're going to do is we're going to look at this from inside the Explore Analytics reporting interface, and we're going to create a new view against my ServiceNow data source, against the requested item table, where we know that there's some catalog variables to report against. Now if you've written reports against ServiceNow in the past, you'll know that requested items are hard to report against because the variables don't show up as fields uh, from a reporting perspective. But Explore Analytics is going to handle that for you. Let's start by getting some information on what types of laptops are being requested. So the way that we're going to do this from this pivot report that we're building is we're going to find the field called variables. Now in ServiceNow if you report against the variables field it's just going to be one long text field with all of the different variables in it. But in Explore Analytics if I drag this variables onto the row then it's going to ask me which variable am I reporting against and I'm going to go against one called hard drive. Now you'll see that this is showing us how many requests came in for a particular hard drive size. And I can uh, click to exclude the ones that didn't have a hard drive specified. So now it's filtered on variable hard drive is not empty. I can also use a second variable. So across the top, I'm going to select the variable operating system. So you can see that across the top I have the various uh, operating systems, Red Hat, Linux, Windows Vista, Windows XP, and across the side I have the um, size of the hard drives requested. So these are two different service catalog variables and I'm reporting against them together. And I could pull any normal field as well or additional variables. So for instance, if I go and I grab the um, item reference field, that's going to show me which catalog items this came from. So now I can see these are the variables that were associated to the development laptop catalog item, and these are the ones that were associated to the executive desktop. So you can see we're reporting against the same variable across different items and able to see them either together or distinct depending on how I group this pivot. Now that I have this report as a pivot, I can also view this visually. So now we're looking at the item uh, broken up by the hard drive uh, as we saw before. Now you'll notice that in this case we're looking at this as a number of requests. So there was one request at 100 gigabytes, uh, five requests at 60 gigabytes, five requests at 80 gigabytes. But I also have the capability to uh, group them or to show the value in a different way. So for example if I were to stack this and then I was to select the price and rather than counting how many requests, uh, get the sum of the price, and I can remove the count. Now I'm looking at this in a different way, which is how, what's the value of each of these? So we spent 6,650 on requests for you know, uh, the 80 gigabytes, 6,400 for um, the 60 gigabytes, etc. And again, I'm, I'm reporting against those catalog variables, but just viewing this in a different way. Now, from here, if I wanted to publish this to a ServiceNow dashboard, I can just come here and say Publish. It'll require the user to log in, which, they can, which they'll be automatically logged in using their ServiceNow credentials. I say Publish to ServiceNow and select which data source within ServiceNow I, I'd like. It's going to create a, a content block for me. So now, if I switch over to my ServiceNow dashboard, if I just go to the out-of-the-box add content, I can select from the Explore Analytics the requested item report that I just made, say where I want it on the dashboard. Now this is going to be a live report. I can click and drill through to details to be able to, to get, actually get to the records themselves. And this will be live, it'll refresh as my dashboard refreshes. But I have that same live dashboarding, but with the ability to do that against catalog variables. Now, for the example, we used catalog variables, but uh, just be aware that you can do this with any. Uh, so for instance, this change request form, uh, my organization uses 
uh, catalog variables. So you see that there's a variable here called server to reboot, one called reason for reboot, and again those are stored as variables within the system. And here's that report that's grouped by one the server variable and the reason variable, and actually displaying that as a percent of the category. So you can see easily 40% uh, of the um, you know changes against Sanex server. 01 were in the other category, and 60% of them were in software install requires re uh, reboot. So as you can see, with just a couple minutes, it's very easy for us to report against any of the variables within ServiceNow as though they were any other type of field. Thank you for watching. Uh, be sure to check out some of our other videos with other ServiceNow or general solutions. Uh, check out our website for more information, or sign up for a free trial and uh, try it yourself.